Welcome to the iHistory channel, where history comes alive. Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey to the era before the Great Flood, the Antediluvian period. Our focus, the giants of yore. From the bones unearthed that hint at their colossal stature to the ancient texts that weave tales of their legendary prowess. We'll explore the narratives of renowned figures like Gilgamesh and the biblical Goliath, so tighten your seatbelts, history enthusiasts, as we delve into the fascinating world of the antediluvian giants. Our journey begins with the ancient reports, the first whispers of giants that walk the earth. These are tales that echo through the ages, from the furthest reaches of the globe, each culture with its unique spin on these colossal beings. In the sun-kissed plains of ancient Greece, we hear of the mighty titans, beings of immense strength and stature ruling the universe before the Olympians. The Greeks revered these giants, attributing to them the creation of mountains and rivers. Across the world, in the verdant valleys of the Americas, Native American tribes passed down stories of the Sitekar, a race of red-haired giants who were said to roam Nevada thousands of years ago. These tales tell of a fierce people towering over their contemporaries, their presence etched into the law of the land. Over in the Middle East, in the cradle of civilization, Mesopotamian texts speak of the Anunnaki, a race of deities who were considered giants. These beings, said to descend from the heavens, were believed to have played a pivotal role in the creation and development of human civilizations. In the frost-kissed landscapes of Scandinavia, Norse mythology regales us with tales of the Jotun, giants who were often at odds with the gods. These stories, woven into the rich tapestry of Norse culture, paint a picture of beings who were as complex as they were colossal. From the sunny shores of Polynesia to the snow-capped peaks of the Himalayas, the narrative remains largely the same. A race of giants, existing alongside or before mankind, leaving a profound impact on the world and its people. These tales of giants, though varied in their telling, share a common thread, a belief in beings of extraordinary size and strength. They suggest a shared human experience, a collective memory that transcends geographical boundaries and cultural differences. These ancient reports set the stage for a deeper exploration into the existence of these colossal beings. They beckon us to delve further, to unearth the evidence that might just prove the existence of these giants of law. So buckle up as we embark on this journey of discovery into the heart of our shared human history. The tales of giants are not just confined to ancient texts, but have found their way into our material world. This might sound like a line from a fantasy novel, but it's actually a reality for many archaeologists and historians who have been fascinated by the discovery of giant bones over the years. These skeletal remains, often towering over the average human height, have been unearthed in various parts of the world, from the ancient plains of Greece to the Native American burial grounds in North America. They've ignited an intense debate among scholars and researchers about the existence of giants in our prehistoric past. One of the most significant findings was in the late 19th century when a seven-foot-tall skeleton was discovered in a burial mound in West Virginia. Some claimed it to be the remains of a Native American chief, while others believed it to be the evidence of an antediluvian giant. In another instance, a nine-foot-tall skeleton was reportedly found in Nevada, further fueling the controversy. Despite these fascinating discoveries, not everyone is convinced. Critics argue that these bones could belong to individuals who suffered from gigantism, a rare condition that results in abnormal growth. Others believe that the bones could have been misinterpreted or even fabricated. As many of these discoveries lack the scientific documentation and verification required to be universally accepted, moreover, some of these remains have mysteriously disappeared over time, adding another layer of intrigue to the saga. The giant skeleton found in West Virginia, for instance, vanished without a trace, leading some to speculate about a possible cover-up. These controversies, however, do not diminish the allure of these findings. They've inspired countless stories, theories and debates, and have given a tangible dimension to the tales of giants that have for so long remained within the pages of our ancient texts. So, while we may not have definitive proof of the existence of antediluvian giants, these unearthed bones serve as a fascinating testament to the enduring allure of these mythical beings. 
These bone discoveries have added a tangible dimension to the tales of giants, but what do historians have to say? It's time to turn to the experts, those who have dedicated their lives to studying the past. Historians and archaeologists have long grappled with the existence of giants, passing through ancient texts and examining unearthed bones to make sense of these intriguing narratives. Some have found striking consistencies across cultures and epochs that suggest a kernel of truth may be buried within these tales. The concept of giants isn't confined to a single culture or a particular period. From the Nephilim in the Bible to the Titans in Greek mythology, giants loom large in our collective historical imagination. Historians argue that these stories may have been a way for our ancestors to explain natural phenomena or express their fears and aspirations. The evidence, however, is not only confined to the realm of myth and folklore. Unearthed bones, often of extraordinary size, have added another dimension to the debate. Historians and paleontologists have mostly attributed these to extinct megafauna or pathological conditions affecting growth, but some argue the sheer volume and geographical spread of these findings suggest that there might be more to the story than meets the eye. Ancient reports of giants, too, have been subject to intense scrutiny. Historians are cautious when interpreting these texts, aware that exaggerations and misinterpretations are common in historical accounts, yet the recurrence of such reports across different civilizations is thought-provoking. There's a school of thought which suggests that these giants might have been rulers or warriors of remarkable stature, their height exaggerated over time through the lens of awe and respect. This interpretation is particularly popular when discussing figures like Gilgamesh and Goliath, who were not only giants in stature, but also in their influence and feats. Ultimately, historians offer a nuanced perspective, acknowledging the complexity of interpreting the past. They remind us that while the existence of giants as we imagine them is unlikely, the stories and evidence we have cannot be dismissed outright. Historians offer us a grounded perspective on giants, but there are two figures that stand out in these giant tales. In the annals of giant lore, few figures are as intriguing as Gilgamesh. Now let's embark on a journey that takes us back to the cradle of civilization, ancient Mesopotamia, the birthplace of the Epic of Gilgamesh. This epic poem, written in cuneiform script on clay tablets, dates back to around 2000 BC. It recounts the adventures of the legendary King Gilgamesh, ruler of the city-state of Uruk. The Epic of Gilgamesh is not just the chronicle of a king, it's a narrative that explores the human condition, the quest for immortality and the nature of friendship. But here's the catch. Gilgamesh was not an ordinary king. He was described as two-thirds god and one-third human, a demigod of immense strength and stature, a true giant amongst men. Gilgamesh's story is rich with trials and tribulations, victories and defeats. Among his many exploits, he is best known for his friendship with the wild man Enkidu and their heroic battles against monstrous creatures. But perhaps the most significant aspect of Gilgamesh's tale is his quest for immortality, a journey that leads him to the wise man Utnapishtim, the only human to have achieved eternal life. Not only does the Epic of Gilgamesh give us a glimpse into the mindset and worldview of ancient Mesopotamians, but it also provides us with one of the earliest references to a giant in literature. Gilgamesh's towering physique, combined with his divine parentage, sets the standard for the concept of giants in subsequent traditions and folklore. However, it's important to remember that Gilgamesh is not simply a character in a story. There is historical evidence that suggests he was a real king who ruled Uruk around 2700 BC. His influence was so profound that his memory endured, immortalized in the form of an epic poem that has survived for over 4,000 years. Gilgamesh's story is a captivating tale from the ancient world, but there's another giant who has left an indelible mark on history. From the pages of the Bible emerges a giant who needs no introduction, Goliath. In the annals of biblical narratives, Goliath stands tall quite literally. He was a Philistine giant, a warrior who held the Israelite army at bay with his sheer size and strength. The book of Samuel paints a vivid picture of this imposing figure, measuring over nine feet tall, clad in armor weighing around 125 pounds and wielding a spear as thick as a weaver's beam. Goliath's story is deeply intertwined with that of a young shepherd boy named David, who would later become the renowned King David. 
Goliath, as the Philistines' champion, challenged the Israelites to send out a champion of their own for a one-on-one -on -one combat. This was a common practice in ancient times designed to avoid unnecessary bloodshed. Young David, armed with nothing more than a sling and a few stones, stepped forward to meet this challenge. The ensuing battle is one of the most famous underdog stories in history. David, with a well-placed stone from his sling, struck Goliath in the forehead, felling the giant and claiming victory for the Israelites. This momentous event is often interpreted as a symbol of the triumph of faith over physical might. Despite the biblical account, historical evidence for the existence of Goliath is scant. However, the tale's enduring popularity speaks volumes about our fascination with giants. Throughout history, across cultures, giants have been a staple of folklore and mythology. They embody our fears, our aspirations, and our struggles. They represent obstacles to be overcome, challenges to be met, and victories to be won. From folklore to fairy tales, from ancient epics to modern cinema, the figure of the giant captivates our imagination. Goliath, with his towering stature and his dramatic downfall, is a prime example of this. His story, whether grounded in historical fact or not, has left an indelible mark on our cultural psyche. Goliath's tale is a testament to the enduring allure of giants in our collective consciousness. As we journey from the past to the present, recent findings have thrown new light on the existence of giants. The world of archaeology and science has been buzzing with new revelations that have breathed life into the legends of yesteryears. Just last year, a team of international archaeologists unearthed a fascinating discovery in the Middle East. They found exceptionally large humanoid skeletal remains, the likes of which had never been seen before. The scale of these remains was awe-inspiring, lending credibility to the tales of towering giants that once walked the earth. Simultaneously, in the realm of genetics, scientists have been exploring the possibility of gigantism in our ancestors. They have been examining ancient DNA samples, trying to uncover any genetic mutations that might have led to extraordinary growth. Some preliminary findings suggest the existence of a giant gene in some ancient populations, although more research is needed to fully understand this phenomenon. In the field of paleoanthropology, an exciting hypothesis is being proposed that the antediluvian giants could be an offshoot of prehistoric hominids. Some experts suggest that these giants might have been a subspecies of Homo heidelbergensis, a species known for its exceptional height. Meanwhile, in the world of literature, scholars are re-evaluating ancient texts in light of these new discoveries. They are revisiting the epic of Gilgamesh and the story of Goliath, looking for clues that might corroborate the archaeological and scientific evidence. Some are even suggesting that these characters were not mere myths, but historical figures who lived in an age of giants. So, what do these recent findings mean? They indicate that the stories of antediluvian giants might not be just folklore or religious allegory. Instead, they could be echoes of a forgotten epoch when giants truly roamed the earth. They remind us that history is a living, breathing entity, continuously evolving as we unearth new pieces of the puzzle. These recent findings continue to fuel the quest to understand more about these legendary beings. They inspire us to keep digging, physically and metaphorically, as we strive to unravel the mysteries of our past. And they remind us that the world of our ancestors was far more diverse and fascinating than we could ever have imagined. From ancient reports to recent discoveries, the world of the antediluvian giants is filled with intrigue. We've journeyed together through the annals of history and across the continents, unearthing tales and traces of these legendary beings. We began with the ancient reports, where the giants loomed large in the narratives of various cultures. From the titans of Greek mythology to the Nephilim of the Hebrew Bible, we found that the presence of giants was a common thread woven into the fabric of our collective past, we then delved into the intriguing physical evidence, the bones. These unearthed remnants of the past, some of colossal proportions, have fueled the debate about the existence of giants. While some dismiss these as misinterpretations of ordinary human or animal remains, others see in them the undeniable proof of a race of beings much larger than us. We also heard from historians who weighed in on the matter, their perspectives varying as widely as their fields of study. Some see the giants as purely mythical beings, while others believe they were real albeit perhaps not as towering as the tales suggest. We recounted the epic of Gilgamesh, the heroic king of Uruk, whose physical stature and strength were said to be unrivaled. 
His story, one of the oldest pieces of literature in the world, further solidified the presence of giants in ancient narratives. Then we turn to the biblical account of Goliath, the Philistine giant defeated by the young shepherd David. Though his exact height has been a topic of debate, there is no denying his status as one of the most famous giants in history. Finally, we explored the recent findings that have added new layers to our understanding of these giants. From complex genetic studies to fresh archaeological discoveries, these findings continue to challenge and expand our perspectives. Our exploration of the antediluvian giants has been as vast and varied as the giants themselves. Whether these beings were real or simply figments of our ancestors' imaginations, their stories have a power that transcends the ages. They remind us of our fascination with the extraordinary, our quest for understanding and our capacity to dream beyond the limits of our own size and strength. As we close this chapter of our journey, remember that history is a vast, unending story and we are all part of it. So keep questioning, keep exploring and keep the spirit of curiosity alive. Thank you for watching the video. Subscribe to the iHistory channel, like and share. Also, don't forget to activate the notification bell.